TJ Tollickson, CEO of Diamond Bikes, recently retired professional triathlete. And today I'm here to talk to you about how much money do professional triathletes make? It's a question a lot of people have burning in them. You want answers? Answer. I want the truth! Uh, so, as a recently retired professional triathlete, I will give you the breakdown on how triathletes make money, how much money they make, and what the income looks like now compared to in the past. So, first thing, how do triathletes make money? The first primary source of income from, for a professional triathlete would be prize money. It makes the most sense, right? You sign up for a race, you win the race, or you place high enough in the race that you make a paycheck and win some money, okay? It's the most obvious way to make income. Second way is through sponsor salary. So once you're good enough, namely being that you've won at least one pretty large race, uh, you will probably become a salaried sponsored athlete. Now, salary does not mean you're an employee of the company. I don't even really work here. You're still a 1099 contractor for them, but you are paid usually a quarterly, sometimes a monthly stipend from the company uh, as an ambassador for their brand. Uh, the third way would be bonus money. Uh, from those same sponsors. So a lot of sponsors have very nice bonus schedules because when you race well, it incentivizes them to pay you more because they see a bump in sales after a really good result and they can use you for marketing purposes. Some of these bonuses can be as much as 100% match of your prize money. Sometimes it's a 50% match. Sometimes it's just an arbitrary number that they assign to the value of a certain race or a record or a fastest bike split or first off the bike. Uh, these are all different bonus options that you have. Take your pick. Uh, when I won Ironman Lake Placid, they also had creams for the bike and the run. And a preem just means the first person to go through the timing mat at a checkpoint and you get some extra money. So, uh, how else can you make money out of those three main ways as a true professional athlete? Well, uh, a whole bunch of athletes have a coaching business. They coach athletes and make money. Uh, and a lot of times it's all rolled into one business. It's just, hey, me, I'm an athlete and I'm coaching. Uh, and then the last one that I'll add in there that I've done uh, as well is do product design, testing, and consulting. Did that for many years for earbuds, headphones, a great kick. This gets tricky uh, because it varies widely and definitely in the US versus Europe versus Australia New Zealand. Most triathletes are going to have in the neighborhood between five and ten uh, sponsors at any given time and if all those sponsors you're paying you, you might get paid as little as $500 a year by one sponsor and it's not uncommon for some of these big names to have six-figure sponsor salaries from a single sponsor. Whoa! Um, you might be looking at a much smaller number for something like a sunglass sponsor and then non-endemic sponsors. So for instance, I was sponsored by Rock and Refuel for a long time. Uh, that would be a non-endemic sponsor. They're not super closely tied to the triathlon market. So those sponsorships usually tend to be bigger. Sometimes it's not all about the money though, it could be the product. So maybe if Mercedes isn't paying you six figures, they're giving you a vehicle or letting you use or lease a vehicle. Uh, and so it has an intrinsic value tied to it. Uh, so total compensation package, what does it look like? Now I'm gonna throw out the uh, throw out the coaching side of this because that's entirely different, not that it's an invalid way to make money, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say that there are just a few triathletes in the world and Jan Ferdano would be one, Alistair Brownlee would be another one, uh, that are somewhere around a million dollars a year in income. Okay, and you're saying, wow, that's great, this guy's so rich, right? And think about all the time and commitment that goes into this to be truly the best in the world, and yet he's making about as much as like the 220th best golfer in the world. 
there are probably around 100 triathletes in the world that are making a six-figure salary. And when I say a six-figure salary, I'm saying anything from $100,000 to $999,000. Uh, there's probably about a hundred total triathletes in the world that make that kind of money. Uh, I'll include myself in that category. I had three really particularly great years, uh, 2014, 2015, well really anything from 2011 to 2016 were my prime earning years in the sport uh, where I was making a six figure income. I'm not going to say exactly how much I made each year. but from that time period things started to drop off a little bit and less about performance more about the state of the sport so let's chat about that briefly so what happened to triathlon well we saw the prize purse from Ironman peak in 2015 after that it was declines every year in between 2015 and 2019 there was a 15% decrease in the amount of prize purse that was paid out. Not okay, not okay with that. Uh, and I know you're saying that might not be a lot, but it is a ton to a huge amount of athletes because that means events were getting cut, uh, prize purses were getting slashed, and the ability for people to make money at races and then bonuses is cut pretty dramatically. But the trend has continued to be down. After 2019, boom, we saw this nose dive. Already we saw a 15% decline, and then boom, 98% decline in the global prize purse in the year 2020. Now obviously that was because there weren't races, there weren't very many races at all held, uh, but you can imagine how hard it would be to be a professional triathlete during that time period, knowing that there's very little prize money. Okay, on top of that, a lot of athletes, myself included, were under sponsored contracts that stipulate a minimum number of races per year or a minimum number of weeks between races. Other contracts might stipulate that you have to race a minimum of five times per year. Well, it would have been very difficult last year to squeeze in five races in the year 2020. You're telling me. But further, let's look back and say, where does that money come from? So if a sponsor is paying a professional athlete, they're paying you to endorse their product to eventually lead to more sales in that product. And if there are not races, the demand for any product, triathlon bikes, wetsuits, any of that stuff, drops dramatically. So don't just feel bad for the uh, professional athletes out there who aren't making money. You have to look at the industry as a whole and say the entire industry is hurting. So, as a sport, one of the things that we can do is really work to put on more events, not the big prize money events, more local events, more kids triathlons, more of that stuff, to grow the base up again. And once we can do that, it will be a long process, but I believe doing so will increase the long-term outlook for professional triathletes across the board. Now, let's talk about the PTO. This has been a huge part of this. The PTO stepped in and gave guaranteed payments to a whole bunch of professional triathletes. I think it was the top 125 ranked triathletes in the world last year. It wasn't a lot of money, but it was something. Uh, and for many of these tri triathletes, they're just scraping to get by. And so when I say there's 100 triathletes in the world that are making a six-figure income, that's across all disciplines. That's non-drafting, that's 70.3, Ironman, and WTS. Obviously, the highest prize money earners are in the WTS series. Uh, Ironman triathletes tend to make a higher percentage of their income off of sponsorships rather than prize money. Uh, that means the rest of the triathletes, 500 plus professional athletes around the world, are probably scraping by in the tens or twenty thousands of dollars in income per year, which is where a lot of the coaching income comes in, part-time jobs. Uh, it's really a struggle to make this happen when you're first getting uh, started in the sport. I know a lot of professional triathletes that choose to keep a full-time job so they can get paid while they're getting into this. For someone like me, uh, and you've got three kids and a wife, and a dog, life gets a lot more complicated. It's harder to make that kind of money uh, working and balancing a career as a triathlete. 
Uh, so there you have it. Uh, if you have any specifics on what you want to hear about how much any one triathlete might or might not make, I'm happy to give you my best guess. Uh, but I would tell you that uh, million dollars is kind of where the ceiling in the sport is right now. I want to try to figure out how we can elevate the sport to be even higher. And uh, I'd love to support professional triathletes for years and years to come, as well as help people achieve their dreams on the fastest bike in the world right here at Diamond Bikes. Thanks.